I would love this if somebody did this in a game I was playing. Ooh, I am I'm really overwhelmed right now because the the channel the, these videos have been doing so well and I just need to say thank you. Thank you because the feedback I'm getting and just the amount of views and the, the fact that it's growing is just it's sh surprising and shocking and thrilling all at once and I'm super grateful for everyone. Uh, Spiny B, thanks for the comment on the video from yesterday. I was, that one actually, I was really inspired in that video and realized after I filmed it and was editing it, editing it, I, I'll promise I can talk today. After I was editing it, I realized there was a couple other things that came to mind. So I'm gonna continue this conversation today about D&D rewards for your characters, for your players. And just, uh, I can't believe it didn't occur to me during that, you know, vlog yesterday. And I'm glad it gives me something else to discuss today because another great reward for characters that, like, I would love this if somebody did this in a game I was playing. And I'm sort of curious why it's not often done. And I guess I could see why. But things like... How about like mounts? How about like you you reward your or a ward or reward however you want to say it your players with mounts like horses and and livery and stuff so that they can get around easily to make it easy for them to travel around your kingdom or Faerun or you know Greyhawk or wherever they are whatever world they're traveling on whether it's yours or one of the you know standard. Dungeons and Dragons realms mounts would be awesome and they could be something cool too it like for let's say it's for high level characters let's say your characters are like in the teens like 12 13 and you're like gosh what can I do to give these characters something cool how about like a flying mount would that be like epically awesome or what like oh you've got a you've got you know a handful of hippogriffs now that can get you from one kingdom to another in, you know, no time instead of having to take the time to travel or find someone to teleport you or whatever. Mounts is a simple thing. Another one, I kind of mentioned it what I was considering with the group I'm running on the regular that we're up to like over 50 sessions. I was thinking like, could I do like a castle or a keep or a tower or mansion or something like that, which would be super cool and maybe I'll do that. But another fun thing to do for for people at as they gain levels and such is like titles. You know, they don't have to necessarily gain land necessarily, but maybe they do, and maybe they become you know a, a, a minor lord. You know, now you've become the lord of the East Mesnes or the lord of the Eastlands or Northlands or the you know the lady of the East River, the lady of the Southern Fields. Something simple like a title or even high, like a duchess or duke or something like this, baron, whatever, where a baroness, you know, where now when they go, especially this would especially work well if you do a very role play heavy game where there's like lots of interaction with town people and nobles and, you know, p people of note in your communities, whether you're in Waterdeep or in, you know, Neverwinter or any big city on Faerun or whether it's your own world and you're in a big city in your own world. And to some degree, it might have an even bigger effect in smaller towns. If you could come in and announce that, you know, the lords and lady of this or the, you know, the baroness of that have arrived in town, that might give you sway with the locals. It might make your negotiations that much easier. It can also make different plot hooks and twists and things you can do because now maybe someone's jealous. Maybe there was another noble who was vying for that title or position and your players got it. So I'm really stoked. So I, again, thank you sincerely from the bottom of my heart. I, I am. The fact that I get one view on these silly vlogs of mine just 
it overwhelms me and fills my heart. And when I have a video that gets like 20 or 30 or a, a hundred or I, I mean, I've had a couple videos that have just exploded beyond my belief and I'm like, wow, that's unbelievable and super cool. So if you all are sharing this stuff, thank you. If you're here just checking it out and like laughing at me, that's fine too. Thank you. I appreciate you being here for the ride. I will do my best to continue sharing great ideas. I am excited because I believe tomorrow night I'm going to have an opportunity to introduce some players to the game, which so much fun for me. It's like the most, my most favorite thing to do, I, I, aside from playing, because I love playing every time I get to sit as a player. That's amazing. On the other side of the screen, on this side of the screen, as a GM, like, wow, introducing new players is so rewarding. So I will fill you in about how that goes when it gets there. And I'm going to use some of the ideas I shared yesterday and today in this first session or so that we have. So I'm looking forward to that. I will keep you all posted about how that goes. As you know, tune in every day. I've got something exciting, fresh and new. Sometimes it's news, sometimes it's views, but it's all going to be fresh from my perspective. I'm Gregory. This has been One in 20 d and I'll see you at a table someday. Keep rolling 20s until then. And remember, it's your game. Play your way. Oh, I love it when I get it in one take or almost one take. <laughs>